Hi everyone, today we have a new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from ICM and that's a figurine set in 135 scale as you can see it's named as a quietly came, quietly went so here we have the special forces from what I understand and in 135 scale they might be a really useful addition for your diorama project and we have a commercial sample here so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you will see in this video review and you can buy this kit already on Modelimax. So these four guys are made in a popular modeling scale and the kit number is 35752. Box size I would say it's a typical um, I would say dimensions for a figurine set from ICM so here is comparison with my hand and also the box art is really good so it might be a nice poster as well. So here you can see uh, one of the sides we have some information about the kit. There are four figurines and we get 48 plus 64 parts and as you can guess such parts count hints that we get some additional accessories for those guys which is really useful in 135 scale so it will be interesting to see what exactly is supplied here but on the opposite side you can see also this uh, let's say a small marking guide for those figurines but obviously there is a special marking or painting guide included as well inside the box so it will be checked as well during this video what I'm doing now is cutting through those stickers which are being used in order to seal the box and in the meantime I can remind you that if you want to support us you can do it with the help of small donation or just press the like button because it also works and of course it helps our channel to be uh, let's say noticed by others as well. So here you can see the um, uh, top cover which is a thin cardboard color printed uh, cover and then this box is actually protecting all of the things inside if I open it, here is what we have inside. So there are several plastic sprues and as far as you can see a lot of uh, items and weapons are included out of the box. So I'm going to take this back, open it and we will start with the figurines because those figurines are actually completely new so it will be interesting to see what is supplied there. And here they are. As you can guess, the each of the corners here is designated for one of the soldiers. All poses are predefined from what I can see and there are no alternative poses included, but still let's zoom in and check each corner one by one so we do not get any guiding elements so because of that you have to be careful while positioning all of these parts together as it is really important to get the more or less convincing appearance with these guys in 135 scale such things are noticeable so definitely work carefully while joining all of these things and trying to get the smooth connection in between them next we continue here with the third figurine as you can see the plate carrier panels are molded separately actually and also you can see some of the items are included so I wonder how they will be used but what I can see as well is that the helmets are molded separately and here is the final fourth soldier so you can see his head and also one piece torso. In this case we have the plate carrier with the separate uh, pouches. And what I wanted to show is the head uh, or the facial features. As you can see these guys are molded with the face masks. Which is quite unusual. It will require some fine uh, tipped brush in order to achieve the precise paint work but well this is something what you should have if you plan to work on 135 scale figurines I guess. So if I flip over this sprue here you can see what we have on the opposite side that's exactly what I was talking about no guiding elements whatsoever so be careful while positioning even those pouches on the plate carriers because it will be important so that they look more or less realistic once they are installed on the figurine but again the sculpting quality looks good as you can see all those wrinkles are quite convincing and it's just a matter of bringing them out with help of shading and other painting techniques so that they look more or less like a real thing next we continue with the accessories and here i just need to understand whether those yes they are absolutely identical plastic sprues so they carry the same set of parts this is a sprue w as you can see and that's why i will show you only one 
because there is no need to show the same thing again and again. So here is the sprue. We have the helmets on this side and they are molded together with the special side plates just like the real helmets. Next we continue with the various rifles and what is interesting here is this bullpup rifle. So I guess that's the AUG uh, rifle if I'm not wrong. And we get it in several versions. Also, we get the machine gun and the classic Kalashnikov. From what I can see here, there are no AR rifles included here. But at least we get some daggers, night vision goggles, and also pistols in pouches, as you can see here. As well as this rocket launcher, uh, which is... Uh, depicted in a stalled position but still it's really cool that those rifles are molded as a single piece parts it means that you can let's say separate them and paint them or you can paint them on those attachment points i saw some modellers actually doing that this is also quite a smart approach which gives you a bit more freedom with handling those parts because you can rotate them in whatever direction you would like to note that one of the ak rifles is molded together with a silencer the same can be said about those bullpup rifles one is molded with the uh, with the silencer one is molded without it and what is also interesting is the helmets in case somebody wonders we do not get anything inside the helmet so there are no lining or any other features included here and in case you would like to depict it you have to do it with your own hands and tools okay so that's all for the plastic parts and here maybe we can also mention this thing which recently included into all ICM kits so maybe I will just adjust the cutting mat so here is the small ad about the icm paints they included into every kit of their own manufacturing obviously so these are paints made by the ukrainian brand as you can see a lot of shades are included there and they're really good to use with a brush or maybe even with the airbrush i was uh, more of a fan using this paints with the tipped brush because it's really good in coverage and it looks convincing so definitely try them out and ICM makes the I would say specially designed sets for their own kits so that might be also a good reason to get them and here we continue with assembly manual so I will just close the lenses as you can see that's the parts map and well it shows that all parts will be used by the way here is the paint set number for this particular figurine set and on the opposite side you can see the marking guide as well as the assembly manual so they are combined into one as you can see you have to use the multicam camouflage but overall it looks like an interesting build because as you can see these face masks also the equipment and i can see that each of the soldiers is accompanied with different equipment and weapons so this is also something to play with and obviously some of the equipment will stay in your spare parts box so also good investment so this kit should be already available as i said it's available in Modelimax together with other kits of course i will be happy to hear your opinion write it here in the comment section below and i will see you in the next video review as usual so stay tuned for more videos and bye